Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. Um, over to Camden Pale now. Camden. For their Camden Pale Ale or Camden Town Brewery. I've actually had this at Fort Park. Uh, or one of theirs anyway. At Fort Park. So we love our American cousins. But sometimes they can be kind of full on. So we've crafted this beer to more British <coughs> taste. Made with American hops. It's still got that all the punch of a pale ale but less shouty four percent um strange that you put that on the can yeah i get what they're saying but uh yeah there's a slight way of saying it you know anybody who's american and reads that's thinking it's a bit a bit bold bit bullshit there whether it's intentional or not, probably not, most likely, but uh, uh, in this woke world we live in where you can't say a bloody thing about upsetting some idiot, um, it's interesting. So, it's a golden looking pour with a couple of centimetres of head. So, here we go. Yeah, very dank, punchy. Yeah, like a piney nose on this punchy piney nose. Pilsner wheat, light crystal and Munich malts. Hops are kettle on the kettle pearl, citra simcoe and dry simcoe and citra. Yeast is California ale yeast. So there you go. Let's see what it tastes like. I'll be honest, the aroma. I wasn't overly fond of the aroma. I've got a little bit of farmhouse sort of vibes going off on the aroma. Uh, but the taste, the taste is nice. It's, it's you know it's easy drinking. Um, obviously, it's a beer that's gone into a lot of. Uh, if it's at Fort Park, you know it's doing well to be in a big uh, theme park. Um, so that's part of the review. The other part of the review is. It was the raggy stag do yesterday and uh, started stuff at the Barley Twist. I had a couple in there, then went to the Vat and Fiddle. Uh, I had two in there, uh, halves, in, I never had pints. Uh, then over to the News House, I had two in there, up to um, Cockanoo, at a 13.6% quad. Absolutely kicked my arse, that did. Then I had two more in there. Uh, then went around the corner to the Keen's Ed. I had two in there. Then over to Bunkers Hill. I had a 14.4% um, Dulce di Lecce Imperial Stout. Then over to Neon Raptor. And I had a 10% in there. And I think I had two actually. And that was all I know. Because after that. I was rat arsed and steaming and uh, yeah, it was about six, quarter past six, twenty past six and I was going home in the car. Uh, wife come down, the, luckily the, the two of the lads that were with me messaged the wife and says, I think he needs to come and pick him up. And she picked me up and took me home and, uh, but it was a good day. We were getting very loud in Neon Raptor. So hopefully Neon Raptor don't hate me for it, you know. Uh, People, when you drink beer, they get loud, don't they? Obviously, no issues with like that. I think a little bit of beer got spilt, but that's only trying to put it on the table when you've had a few. Uh, but yeah, um, it is what it is. It was a good day. No one acted the twat, no one did out silly. And I was thankful for that. Can't be double that anyway. Can't be double that sort of shit, you know. But uh, yeah, it was a great day. Uh, me, Liam and Shane from the beer community, Andy and Dino from the Happy Drinkers, and uh, Keith, who's um, mate of the family. So, And then Tom as well, Carasawa Tom, he came, and uh, that was a massive surprise. Because for most people, you know, they've got to get to Nottingham, then they've got to get home. And he stopped for about four hours with us and left to get his train. So thank you for everyone who came. Um, yeah, it was a good night, didn't, uh, um, I learned two valuable lessons. One, drink some bloody water. Two, 
eat some bloody food. Um, again, my Achilles heel is not eating uh, when I'm out and I need to do it because uh, I, if I'd have ate, I'd have been out of a couple of hours at least. I'd, I'd have done the pub that I wanted to do. And I wouldn't have been so steaming in the on Raptor for starters. There was fox and grapes and I was battered. And uh, I remember seeing somebody I knew, but I was that gone and he was just laughing at me. <coughs> as you would, as you would laugh at me, you think, twat. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, it was a good time. Uh, I deleted the, one of the videos that we did because they were so pissed out of our faces and loud. And uh, yeah. There is a drunken beer review coming up though, so that's all good fun. Uh, keep your eye out for it. <laughs> One of these things when you've had a drink, isn't it? I mean, none of us are perfect. Uh, we all say stuff and do stuff when we've had a drink. Um, but it was a good time, you know. We drank some big beers and... Uh, and uh, it would have sank a lot of people, so, you know, but it's not a competition at the end of the game. Um, anyway, back to this. Tasting nice, lovely tropical beer. Oh, yeah. Punchy. Uh, it's a nice drinking beer, like I said, the nose at first. Yeah, that smells, smells okay now. So it's just when it first came out of the can, it was like, like a bit of farmhouse going off, but it sussed itself out, it's better now. And it's tasting well, and uh, yeah. So for me, from Camden, Pale Ale. Um, at five for me, it's an easy drinking. I know it's mass produced these days. Better in a can than it is at, it, it, it is on draft. Although on keg it should be alright if, if, if it's on cask I suppose. But um, depends. Depends where it's stored. Um, but yeah, I have had a Camden. I'm not sure if it was this or the other. Uh, but I have had a Camden over at um, Fort Park before. So that was enjoyable too. It was better than some of the Guinness and crap. Um, but yeah, good four points. Three out of five for me. Thank you for watching. See you soon.